these are um, imaginary constructs, as it were. Nothing can be proved. What we see is that every culture everywhere has got some kind of picture of there's more to life than ordinary, you know. And uh, I have been particularly uh, affected by the ancient Greek, you know, the Platonic picture that you have uh, ordinary reality that they call the terrestrial sphere. And uh, then there's maybe some spiritual realm, and above that is the soul, the, the intellectual sphere. And finally there's the good God or the whatever, the absolute undistinguished. Uh. So <clears throat> it seemed to me that having uh, the metaphor of different levels is helpful. And maybe it's all a continuum. But we say there are different levels, but also adjacent levels are connected, as it were, by some electromagnetic field or vibratory phenomenon in, in between. So the, what is a ordinary reality that people talk about, which is the subject of courses in universities and practice in the psychiatrist's office and so on, is the body, the terrestrial sphere, and the mental sphere. So how can they be connected? Well, I, how, how could it be that I see an image in a movie and then I have a feeling? You know, it's like, it's, it's, it's a huge uh, mystery. Uh, the mind-body connection, as it were. So if we had a better idea about some sort of mechanism, model, metaphor, theory, or whatever about the mind-body connection, then we might be able to cure people of psychosomatic diseases. As it was said, uh, LSD could be used to help people with alcoholism or schizophrenia or whatever. Uh, like um, medical science, let us say uh, Eastern or non-Western medical science deals with these uh, different theories of the mind-body connection that allows you to treat the body through the mind uh, self-healing, as it were, or relaxation, or uh, visualization, and meditation, and, and so on, that the profit would be that with this information, this theory, we could heal ourselves of diseases. Maybe we could heal our society of social diseases, like uh, greed, power, war, and, and so on, just through understanding this. So if our predicament, the so-called predicament of mankind, is caused by ignorance, then the effort to deal with these perennial problems um, of human species on planet Earth has to involve the development of more intelligence, more information, more theories, and so on. And those uh, higher realms, if there is such a thing, that... Uh, I'm not sure, but I think all people who have psychedelic trips and meditations and so on are poking more or less into the same higher realm and receiving some information from there. If we can develop this into, this could be absorbed into ordinary science that we could approach with the scientific method and, and so on, then our intelligence, our capability of survival on planet Earth would be increased. I mean, we're a dying species. We live on a dying planet. We're killing the planet. So our disease is extremely serious. And uh, therefore, we're desperate to find new information, ideas, and so on that can, can transcend. We have to evolve. And I think our intellectual evolution may be predicated upon the psychedelic pioneers. <laughs>